Wow. <sighs> now that is my kind of wake-up call. We aim to please. Hey, I have a question. Glad you held it till the end. Did all that just then have anything to do with that cute waitress from last night? What? You know, the one who asked you if you work out. I was wearing the black T-shirt. I mean, you know, it's totally healthy to fantasize from time to time. I know. I know that. I mean, you've been Harrison Ford. You've been David Bowie. One time you were the brawny paper towel guy. We were in the kitchen. Okay, well, it wasn't the waitress. But it was somebody. I'm gonna go make some coffee. Oh, come on! Give me a hand! Is she living or is she dead? Dead? Alive in the fantasy. Come on, honey, who is she? I'm gonna find out. Jeremy, you're not gonna get inside my head. I get inside your pants and your head doesn't have that tricky button fly. <laughs> So it's the 10 day ocean dream cruise with a three island itinerary. Ah, oh. ha! Diggity dog! <laughs> it's Greg's birthday, and I get to go to the Caribbean. <laughs> well, he has been working very hard, and you are married to him. <laughs> now, we are going to need two adjoining cabins with a common parlor. It's one o'clock. You say you're going to make her buy us a big fancy lunch. <laughs> Hang on, Susan. Two cabins? Yes. You did know Edward and I were coming along. I was hoping. I just didn't want to jinx it. Let me show you some brochures about day trips to some of the out-of-the-way islands. Oh, good. I, I would like to avoid the areas where children tug at you and try to sell you things. It's very awkward. You look pretty happy for someone about to go on a slow boat to hell. I'm not going anywhere. As soon as I tell Greg what happened, he's going to put a stop to it, even if he has to drink all the water in the world, like the five Chinese brothers. You know, back home, that book is the five American brothers. You know what? If we're going to kill off this cruise, I should probably get Greg something really kick-ass for his birthday. I wish I knew what he wanted. What would make your husband really happy? Huh? Naked with a bow? <laughs> Maybe it was a bacon cheeseburger between her breasts. Sure. Boy, am I hungry. Wait. If I can find out who Greg's fantasy woman is, maybe I can get her to sign an autographed picture or something. Dama, you know what we need to do right now? Take you out and buy you some proper cruise wear. Um, actually, Susan's getting kind of hungry. Oh, I'm fine. Come on, let's go get you a nice, smart pantsuit with a big, shiny anchor on it. I gotta figure out what to do here. I gotta get out of going on this cruise with my parents. No kidding. Norma thinks that I should tell them the truth and try to establish a more honest relationship with them. I guess. I'm thinking of going with an inner ear problem. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> hey. All right, boys, big night. Pizza and videos. You've got choices. Julia Roberts. Sharon Stone, or maybe America's Girl Next Door, Sandra Bullock. Huh? Huh? Over oh three. Shoot! What game are we playing? I'm trying to figure out who Greg thinks about when he's having sex. You know, that probably depends, you know, if he's trying to slow down or speed up. For me, it's Anna Kornikova on the gas and Tommy Lasorda on the brake. While you're getting some plates, you want to do a little reading, maybe? A little Elle McPherson? <laughs> or Rebecca Romaine Stamos? Or the cool and yet detached beauty of one Ms. Martha Stewart? Martha Stewart's an attractive woman. Aha! Uh -huh. So should I send her a little thank you muffin basket? Why is this so important to you? It's just that... I believe that the more we know about each other's fantasies and desires, the better time we're gonna have having sex. <laughs> All right, honey, if you're 
really uncomfortable telling me. That's totally fine. Okay. <laughs> it's not just Elena Sonnenberg. Oh, sure. <laughs> She's a famous concert violinist. She's played with orchestras all over the world. She won the Walter Nomberg competition. Oh, she sounds hot. <laughs> She's very sensual when she performs. We, we kind of met once. <gasps> you met once? Well... Did you two fiddle around? <laughs> no, I... I was in New York. It was about six or seven years ago, and, um, you know, I was in this little restaurant, and uh, Nadja was sitting at the bar, and I kind of caught her eye, and she gave me one of these. <laughs> did it back. She did this? No, it wasn't that. She was just more like this. <laughs> anyway, when I left, she was leaving and uh, it was raining, so we ended up sharing a cab for like four blocks. <laughs> and? Nothing. We talked. About what? Well, like, you know, the weather, classical music, my. Theory that Yo-Yo Ma is to the cello what Carl Sagan was to science, an important popularizer, but not a groundbreaker. That sounds like you had a moment. Yeah. We did. <laughs> Wait a minute. Trying to guess Greg's fantasy girl. But Dharma, you're Greg's fantasy girl. <laughs> you won't shut up about it at work. That ought to be good for about a half day off, huh? <laughs> Celia. The leche is not very bueno, is it? I'm sorry, Mrs. Montgomery. I will bueno it up for you. What did she mean by that? I don't know. I don't speak Spanish like you do, Mother. No, thank you. Um, listen, there was something I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, Dharma told me about the cruise. Oh. And I could make something up, but the truth is... Yes? I've developed an inner ear problem, and it's going to give me vertigo on the boat. Oh, have you seen anybody about yes, it? Yes, I saw Dr. Cranston. Didn't he retire? Yes, but I, I, I saw him on the golf course. Oh, and he examined your ear right there on the golf course. Well, there was a slow foursome in front of us, and, and he had a, a flashlight on his keychain, and, and I, 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 I don't have an inner ear problem. Mother, the, the truth is I don't want to go on the cruise with you and Dad. Oh. I, I, I know that's blunt, but frankly, I wish we had the kind of family where we could be honest instead of having to tiptoe around people. Forgive me, but I'm not aware of anybody who has to tiptoe around me. Come on, Mother, do you really think that Dad enjoyed sitting on a blanket in the park and watching Othello? He cried. It's because you ran out of wine. <laughs> what about Celia? What about her? Celia spent 30 years in this country. Don't you think she finds it a little condescending that you speak to her in broken Spanish? Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't mean to upset you, oh, Mother. Oh, please, Gregory, why would I be upset? It's delightful to find out that one son considers one to be a, a despotic monster. <laughs> and if you and Dharma ever have children, I hope I will be permitted to visit them. I think this is a real breakthrough for the whole family. Hi, honey. Hi. Uh, how was your day? Mm. How was work? How was Pete? Uh, good, fine, and uh, hungover. <laughs> what are you doing? I got you your birthday present. I didn't have time to wrap it. Actually, you, you do, because my birthday's not till next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's watch it. So this is something we'll enjoy watching together? Oh, yes. <laughs> I think this is really going to work for Oh, boy. Hi, Greg. It's me, Nadja. Just wanted to say hello to my number one fan. And next time you're in New York City, let's share another cab. <laughs> and this is for you. That's your fantasy, girl! 
How did you get her to do that? Oh, you're never going to believe it. I tracked her down to a concert hall in Minneapolis. I told her all about you and the restaurant and the cab ride. Now you think about her when we have sex. <laughs> oh, good. So you covered everything. Oh, she thought it was adorable. I don't know what to say. You want to watch it again? Uh, maybe, maybe later. I'm just going to go uh, change my clothes. <laughs> I get the wrong Nadia Salerno Sonnenberg? <laughs> well, it's not exactly the reaction I was hoping for. We didn't even have sex. Oh. Oh. <laughs> totally putting off calling Nadia. She's going to be really disappointed. <laughs> well, actually, honey, I'm not surprised Fred responded that way. Abby, mm -hmm. when it starts coming back out, does that mean he's full? <laughs> well, he usually eats one whole jar. One. Okay. All done. Darmy, you have to understand that male sexuality is a delicate, delicate thing. Since when? And I'm afraid that by shining a light on Greg's fantasy, you destroyed it. Poor Greg. I kicked in the motel room door of his libido with a search warrant and a cop. <laughs> Sweetie. It's all right. I'm sure that he has other women he thinks about during sex. I know you're just trying to make me feel better, but I can't count on that. I'm going to have to find some way to replace Greg's fantasy. You want your husband to think about me while you're having sex. That's what we're hoping for. So then, you know, I tried to find another violinist who would flirt with him, but I got to tell you, they're a pretty prudish bunch. And uh, then I thought, you know, maybe it doesn't have to be a violinist at all. Maybe it was more about the restaurant and the moment. You yeah, know? this. No, yeah. not this. It was like that. <laughs> so what do you say? This is the creepiest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> or loving. I mean, it's not like he's some weird raincoat and black socks kind of guy. It's not like he's going to stalk you. No, he's just going to think about me. <laughs> You're not going to do this, are you? No. Okay. Well, boy, picking up chicks is hard. <laughs> you know what? Listen, if you're really not doing this because you think it's creepy, that's totally cool. But if you're at all saying no because you're uncomfortable with how beautiful you are, you should deal with that because you are a babe and you should be celebrating your babishness. Hey, you know, I don't have a problem with how I look. Okay. I'm fine with how I look. It's other people, you know. <laughs> They're the ones with the problem. I mean, they see this, this face and this body, and I have a mind. <laughs> you let it out. You let it out. <laughs> Nobody thinks a beautiful woman can be talented. <gasps> Nobody takes me seriously. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why I had to give up my dream. And what did you want to be? A hairdresser. <laughs> Hello? Mother? What were you thinking? This is about mother, I assume? I raised you like my own son. I walked you to your first day of school. I made you fish sticks and tatter tots your mother forbid it. Celia! You're up. No, la verdad es que yo no puedo más con ella. Esa mujer va a acabar conmigo. Señor, no, 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 no
I mean looking. Looking isn't walking. Watch. <laughs> See? Sure, you got the hair working for you. Go back now, but when I get it from the table, you try again. I know, but you can never have too much. Woo! Then it goes right through you. You, you didn't even drink yours. Just the thought of it. Go, 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 go. Okay. low blood sugar and she needs to eat right away. And she's thirsty. with tissue because you know that will scratch them. Good to know. Hey, it's raining. New shoes. We should take a cab. Okay. There's one. Why don't you go get it? Chop, chop. Uh, sure. <laughs> Sorry, I did everything I could. Yeah, until your dinner came and you never looked up again. <laughs> How do you not weigh 300 pounds? Why are you so upset with me? I don't know. Maybe because it looks like my head was licked by a flock of cows. <laughs> Anyway, we have one last shot. Just follow my lead. Honey, this nice lady is going in our direction, and she's too full to walk, so we're going to give her a ride. Okay. okay. Nice lady. Go ahead, hop in. Go ahead, sweetie. No, oh, great. You go ahead. You know what? These shoes are waterproof, or so they say. I better test them out. You guys go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 what's going on here? Wait, wait. Uh, we'll, we'll take the next one. Dharma? Dharma, do you want to tell me what's going on here? I ruined your Nadja fantasy. You know, the restaurant, the rain, the cab. I was trying to get you someone new. A woman who just burped in the cab? <laughs> She's your mother's travel agent, and I had to let her do my hair and buy her dinner and two appetizers. And you still don't have a fantasy girl. Dharma, I don't need a fantasy girl. Really? Really. So you'll find someone on your own? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. 
Mother, Dad, I want to apologize for what happened before. And the reason that I said all those things is because I was overwhelmed by the generosity of your gift and embarrassed by your... <laughs> generosity. Well, that's understandable. Yes, that makes sense. And, and, I, and I can't tell you how excited Dharma and I are to go on the cruise with you and Dad. You're welcome. Oh, cafe con dolce. <laughs> oh, bueno. I miss in Montgomery. Usted habla español como una idiota. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> I had to give up my dream. And what did you want to be? A hairdresser. <laughs> Hello? Mother? What were you thinking? <laughs> about mother, I assume? I raised you like my own son. I walked you to your first day of school. I made you fish sticks and tatter tots your mother forbid it. You're up. No, la verdad es que yo no puedo más con ella. Esa mujer va a acabar conmigo. Si no me voy a decir en esta casa, la verdad es que me tiene con los nervios que yo what were you thinking? All I did was tell Mother the truth about the cruise and suggest that we try to be more honest with each other. Well, that was a damn stupid thing to do. <laughs> Things were going along just fine. People got up, they went about their business, they had a little something to eat, and they went to bed. And if there was some kind of trouble, we, we dealt with it in our own way without going on and on about how we felt or what we thought. <laughs> See the value in that. I don't know what I was thinking. I should never have told my mother the truth. I should have just sucked it up and gone on the cruise. No, I think it was good that you told me the truth. So this is a friend of yours who did your hair? Yep. You know what? I think I will have a glass of wine. I'm going to go see what they've got. Well, honey, the list is right here. Oh, well, no, you just can't trust them, honey. You got to see it come out of the bottle. All right, honey. If you're really uncomfortable telling me, that's totally fine. Okay. <laughs> it's not just Salerno Sonnenberg. Oh, sure. <laughs> She's a famous concert violinist. She's played with orchestras all over the world. She won the Walter Nomberg competition. Oh, she sounds hot. <laughs> She's very sensual when she performs. We, we kind of met once. <gasps> <laughs> you met one. Well, did you two fiddle around? <laughs> no, I. I was in New York. It was about six or seven years ago, and um, you know, I was in this little restaurant, and uh, Nadja was sitting at the bar, and I kind of caught her eye, and she gave me one of these. <laughs> and did it back. She did this? No, it wasn't that. She was just more like this. <laughs> anyway, when I left, she was leaving and uh, it was raining, so we ended up sharing a cab for like four blocks. <laughs> and? Nothing. We talked. About what? Well, like, you know, the weather, classical music, my theory that Yo Yo Ma is to the cello what Carl Sagan was to science, an important popularizer, but not a ground. Go around people. <laughs> Forgive me, but I'm not aware of anybody who has to tiptoe around me. Come on, Mother, do you really think that Dad enjoyed sitting on a blanket in the park and watching Othello? He cried. It's because you ran out of wine. <laughs> what about Celia? What about her? Celia spent 30 years in this country. Don't you think she finds it a little condescending that you speak to her in broken Spanish? Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't mean to upset oh, you, Mother. Oh, please, Gregory, why would I be upset? It's delightful to find out that one son considers one to be a, a despotic monster. <laughs> and if you and Dharma ever have children, I hope I will be permitted to visit them. I think this is a real breakthrough for the whole family. Hi, honey. Hi. Uh, how was your day? Mm. How was work? How was Pete? Uh, good, fine, and uh, hungover. <laughs> What are you doing? I got you your birthday present. I didn't have time to wrap it. Actually, you, you do, because my birthday's not till next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's watch it. So this is something we'll enjoy watching together? Oh, yes. 
I think this is really going to work for you. <laughs> oh, boy. Hi, Greg. It's me, Nadja. Just wanted to say hello to me. Floss. Oh, it's right there. There you go. Thank you. Shoot. I think it's under there. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing with them? Huh? Buy me a drink. I buy you dinner. Who are you working for here? <laughs> Come on, Greg, look up. No, 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 my sunglasses are clean, honey. That's just a scratch. Please don't find the loose screw. Hi. She has low blood sugar and she needs to eat right away. And she's thirsty. What were you thinking? All I did was tell Mother the truth about the cruise and suggest that we try to be more honest with each other. Well, that was a damn stupid thing to do. <laughs> Things were going along just fine. People got up, they went about their business, they had a little something to eat, and they went to bed. And if there was some kind of trouble, we, we dealt with it in our own way without going on and on about how we felt or what we thought. <laughs> See the value in that. I don't know what I was thinking. I should never have told my mother the truth. I should have just sucked it up and gone on the cruise. No, I think it was good that you told her the truth. So this is a friend of yours who did your hair? Yep. You know what? I think I will have a glass of wine. I'm going to go see what they've got. Well, honey, the list is right here. Oh, well, no, you just can't trust them, honey. You got to see it come out of the bottle. <laughs> A glass of red wine, please. All right, let's make a fantasy here. Did he notice your hair? He did. Is he looking? He keeps looking away. Well, you gotta lock eyes. I'm looking. Looking isn't locking. Watch. <laughs> See? Sure, you got the hair working for you. Go back now, but when it sounds like you had a moment, yeah. we did. <laughs> Wait a minute, trying to guess Greg's fantasy girl, but Dharma, you're Greg's fantasy girl, <laughs> you won't shut up about it at work. That ought to be good for about a half day off, huh? <laughs> Celia, the leche is not very bueno, is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Montgomery. I will bueno it up for you. What did she mean by that? I don't know. I don't speak Spanish like you do, Mother. No, thank you. Um, listen, there was something I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, Dharma told me about the cruise. Oh. And I could make something up, but the truth is... Yes? I've developed an inner ear problem, and it's going to give me vertigo on the boat. Oh, dear. Oh, have you seen anybody about yes, it? Yes, I saw Dr. Cranston. Didn't he retire? Yes, but I, I, I saw him on the golf course. Oh, and he examined your ear right there on the golf course. Well, there was a slow foursome in front of us, and, and he had a, a flashlight on his keychain, and, and I, 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 I don't have an inner ear problem. Mother, the, the truth is I don't want to go on the cruise with you and Dad. Oh. I, I, I know that's blunt, but frankly, I wish we had the kind of family where we could be honest instead of having to tiptoe around people. Forgive me, but I'm not aware of anybody who has to tiptoe around me. Come on, Mother, do you really think that 